What's up? This is Chi Chi. We at Doppler Studios, and I'm here with the Progress Report. Let's do it. The Progress Report. <laughs> It's your girl, Lila Shepard, representing the Progress Support. And, you know, I love the producers, man. I've always been big on supporting the producers because, you know, y'all are the heart of this music thing. Um, so today I'm here with Chi-Chi. Chi-Chi, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Um, I first heard about you through one of my artists. He actually was telling me, like, man, Chi-Chi, he the hardest right now. And I'm like, okay, all right. I'm Who like, that is? Shit. My artist named Blazer. Uh, I don't even know who. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he is an uh, artist from uh, Lithonia, Georgia, but he he spoke very highly of you. And um, ever since then, I kind of just been hearing your tag and a lot of songs. So I'm like, well, shit, I gotta get up with Chi Chi. So um, I definitely want to, you know, get to know you and have the people also get to know you too. So you know, let everybody know where you're from. Tell Blaze, I appreciate that. For sure. Appreciate that. Um, I'm from Jonesboro, Georgia. Okay. I, I used to sound like terrible to buy. Everybody know terrible to buy. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. So let everybody know what you do officially that might not know. I officially am an industry producer. An industry producer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I make beats. And I For stuff sure. Like that. Respect. So how'd you get into music? Uh, my boy Verse. I don't know how he got into it, but he used to be in the studios and stuff. Uh, it was like... Uh, he just would, like, bring me around, mm. and then he just told me to start making beats. Okay. And I downloaded the demo version of FL Studio, and then, yeah, kept building on that. Damn, that's simple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, just with, like, what was you doing before then, though? I was in college playing football. Oh, okay, okay. What was your yeah. uh, position? Or, I, don't, uh, I'm I played not defensive back. back. Okay, I'm not yeah. a football watcher. I don't understand. That's, that's, that's all right. I'm not, I'm not one either no more. Okay, so you fully into this music thing now. Yeah. Got you, got you. So was there any producers that you, like, kind of studied or looked up to? Yeah, Weezy, like, Weezy. Oh, hell yeah, Weezy hard. Weezy hard. Weezy um, super dope. Southside. Definitely hard. But yeah, we using the South Side. Everybody gonna say Metro, but like, I don't know. I wasn't really into like music like that when Metro was like doing his thing, like okay. and all that. But he cool too. But oh, yeah. really, we using the South Side. I say that influenced my son. Respect, respect. Um, have you got a chance to meet or collab with them just yet? No, I'm gonna catch him though. For sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised catch you haven't just yet. Yeah. Probably because of COVID. I don't know, but I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Um, so. You know, just with getting into music, though, like, when did you, you know, I know you said, you know, Verse kind of introduced you to music and, and bringing you around certain people, but when did you be like, man, I'm about to take this serious? I don't even know. I don't even know. I was never taking it serious. I just was like, I was into music, so, like, I just kept making beats because it was, it was fun. It was making me feel good. True. And then... Eventually, I just started feeling like now my beats sound good enough mm. to feel like I could let people know I make beats. So I guess like I don't know three, six, six months into me making beats, okay, I felt like I was making beats. Respect, respect. So with the first beats that you made, were they trash? Yeah, that was horrible. For <laughs> okay, sure. horrible. Okay, like bubblegum type beats. No, nah, it wasn't that bad, but okay. it was bad, Got you know. You. Yeah. Uh, what's a bubblegum type beat like? I don't know. Like, I'm thinking, like, a ringtone type joint. Like, this. Nah, okay. my, I had my 808s rocking, but, Got like, you. they was, nah. Okay. All right. So, you came through with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's talk about your tag and your name, Chi-Chi. Oh, my first name is Chitty. I'm Nigerian, so. Oh, shit. Yeah, my first name is Chitty, so. Chitty. Chi-Chi. Got you. Yeah. And then, uh, my tag, I paid somebody named Tezzy G's up. Twenty-five dollars. Mm. He said like three little ph phrases. Mm. That was the first one, so I just ran away to like. What's happening, Chi Chi? Yeah. Okay. Respect. What does your name mean? Your real name mean? It means um, there is God. Okay. Yeah. Respect. Respect. Um, so talk about just you know um, just getting into the industry standards of things. Like who was the first artist that you kind of you know produced for? I think Champ One K. He's somebody from like he from Atlanta. Okay. But like it was Chant One K and Nuda Five. Okay. Yeah, Nuda. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Nuda. That was like that's the artist I really built with. Gotcha. Like, and that's how I got into the industry. I feel like Nuda, like, 
yeah, I found my sound with him. And then mm. through Nuda, that's how I started getting locked in with, like, baby and stuff like that. Mm. So, yeah. Okay, respect, respect. And it be like that, too. Um, talk about just, you know, meeting little baby. Like, what was that initial meeting like? Was you going to play beats or were you just around? Meeting him? I don't even think I met him when I first met him. I was just in the studio and he was there, too. Mm. So, like, but it wasn't like I said, what's up? And yeah. he said, what's up? It was just like, I was there. I feel like um, it was probably like third week from hanging around him or something. I was playing the beat for Dirty Tay. Mm. And then Baby walked in and was listening to it. And he was like, let me have this beat. Mm. And then that was solid. So yeah. that, that was the first song I got with Baby. Damn. So that's how that went. Yeah. Okay, that's crazy. Um, so was you there when he recorded Silent or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was in the room. Got you. Um, I'm gonna have you just go down the list of the producer credits that you have. Like, go ahead and just name drop some of the songs that you produced and the artists that. I think like my first industry song is like with Young Young and Nice, featuring mm -hmm. Dage Love. It's called In Love. Oh yeah, that's um, a dope beat. Um, I don't know if y'all heard of Caleb Colossus. He was on Rhythm and Flow, that Netflix okay, show, okay, but uh, okay, okay, okay. I did like his first, a lot of songs on his first tape. Mm -hmm. um, I did No Fentanyl, Rirallo. Um Yeah, no, nah, I ain't really had too much placements before that. Like, other, after that with Baby, I started like, and then Throat Baby was like before all that, but yeah. it ain't really blow up till like when I started getting stuff with Baby. Nah, no, for sure. So, yeah. Okay. You also did get money too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a dope record. That's a dope record. Um, when 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 Lil Baby though, did you did you recognize that he was a star? Like did you know he had it? Yeah, I was listening to him before I was making okay. beats. So like he was like one of the people like if somebody would have asked me who I wanted to work with, I would have said him. Mm. So like yeah. Okay. Got you. Um, describe like a crazy studio session that you that you maybe had with one of these artists. Um, crazy. I don't have. I don't know. Nah, and not in a bad way. I mean, it may be just like a, a session that maybe went extremely well, or just maybe I work from like for an extended period of time. Just anything. Like a memorable studio session should be my question. That's what I, I guess mean. when when he when Baby made it solid. Okay. That, cause <laughs> I, that was like I guess my first really big song. Mm -hmm. Even though it ain't that big, but yeah, it was like yeah. For I sure. guess that was my first memorable. Okay. So was that around the time that you felt like you got your big break? No, I felt like I got my big break when the deluxe dropped. Mm. Like with social distancing and get money. True. And then like when Throat Baby started popping, that's when I felt like definitely. I was a producer, yeah. Definitely. And speaking of Throat Baby, man, I, I definitely love that song. Like, you know, at this point now, I feel like I done played it out so much. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like, you know, when it was when it first came out, because I worked with DJs too, like we was playing that shit a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Like, um, your tag wasn't on there originally. So talk about that. Like, why was He bought it off my Beat Stars untagged. Got you. And then. Uh, that's how it happened. Okay. And eventually we worked it out and put, put my tag on Respect. it. Respect. I'm glad he put the tag on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, for yeah. Sure. I feel like for producers, I feel like, you know, tags are necessary. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? How do you feel about tags? Because some people, I know Sonny Digital right now, he was saying he's not using his tag like that no more. But, you know, for me personally, I feel like producers should always put their tag on their beats. I mean, yeah, I feel like if you got the right tag, like, True. Like sometimes I even feel like my tag ain't sounding right no more. Mm. So I don't really use my tag like that no more because I want people to start recognizing me for my sound. Okay. But okay. I'm I'm gonna get a tag like, you know, have one of these artists say something or something, but sure. I don't I ain't really stun the tag stuff no more. Got you. Yeah. Okay. That's growth. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Um, so going back to Throat Baby, what was your original thought like when you first heard heard the full song? What was you thinking? See, I was just thinking like it was just another song. Okay. Cause by that time, I think I was like working with Rollo and stuff like that. So gotcha. I had some. I was working with like No Cap. So I had a, I had a few songs with people, but um, when that song dropped, I just thought it was another song. Then I think I was at like Club Blaze or something, mm. and I heard it, and I said, oh. Mm -hmm. But that was before it had even became like what, what it, it is. So yeah, I didn't really even put too much thought into it in the first shot. I just thought it was another song. Okay. Nah, that's crazy. Um, I like, I, I hear people say mixed things. Like, some people be like, you know, I think all the females love it. 
But some of the guys were like, man, I'll never let my daughter hear that record type shit. I feel them. I wouldn't either. Yeah. Yeah, I got a daughter. I wouldn't let her hear it. Got you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, we we'll talk about balance of, you know, being a father and, and music, because, you know, being in music, that's such a demanding thing. Like, it's a it's a 24-7 grind being in the music business. How do you balance, you know, personal life with that? Um, got to make it happen. Like, your spouse got to be on what you on Definitely. type stuff. So Definitely. that's really what it is, because girls are crazy. So. <laughs> gotta, your spouse got to be on what you on. Yeah, facts, facts, yeah. facts. If you wasn't producing, what would you be doing? I don't know, working a regular job. I'd probably be regular. I don't know. Probably be, I probably would have made it to the NFL, though. Okay. Because I probably would have been taking, like, I feel like I could have made it, but mm. towards the end of, like, when it started getting real crunchy, I was focusing on music. Mm. So I stopped caring. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll probably just be working a regular job. Okay. Trying to go back to school or something. Got you. For what? What would you what would you want to go back to school for? I don't know. I would have been a doctor, lawyer, judge, okay. something that would try something that makes money, you know. Yeah. Respect. I don't know. I would have had to figure something out. Respect. But I figured it out though. Okay. Is it true that you want to dabble into the artist lane too? True. What, what that, nah, it ain't true. Okay. Who told you that? I don't know. Maybe it's just something I heard. Nah, they lied. They lied. Nah. Okay. I'm behind the scenes. Respect. You like, seem like a low-key individual. Yeah. yeah. Um, is there any type of misconceptions that come with producing for major artists? Like, you know, from the from the outside looking in, producers, that's not... Uh, okay. I'm sorry. Babe, I'm doing the interview. Did you see my text message? Yeah. Can I can I hit you up? I'm doing an interview right now. We keep doing that. Can I call you back? It's crazy. Uh oh. It's crazy. No, I'm just kidding. No, I keep it. Okay. Okay. Keep it. So I, I was saying though, like, is there any misconceptions when it comes to producing for major artists? Because you know, like, with like you know, with, with producers when they try to get on and they not of the or living in the culture. Maybe they may think it's easier than what it is, or maybe it's, you know, they don't know exactly. Oh, yeah, it's definitely not what it is. Nah, it's okay. not. Like, like eventually it's going to start feeling like a job. Like, mm. like, like, these artists go through beats. Like, yeah. they go through beats for real. So it's going to eventually start feeling like, damn, oh, it ain't fun no more. I got to really, like, work for real. Like, mm. I got to grind, like, get gritty with it. Mm. So, yeah, it's like. Yeah, I don't think like it's gonna. It, you gonna if you love it, you gonna keep loving it. But you are gonna feel like it's yeah, yeah. It's a grind. You gotta, you gotta, yeah. Definitely. Talk about your latest sacrifice that you had to make for your career. Like, like, shit. I don't really see nothing as a sacrifice because I, I wanted to do what I was gonna sacrifice anyway. So like, sure. I don't go out like that no more or at all. Uh, I don't really hang with the buddies like that unless they make music, mm -hmm. like, as much as I used to. Um, yeah, I mean, I wasn't doing it that much before this anyway. Okay. So, yeah. Respect. Respect. Um, so, the name of our show is called The Progress Support. You know, we talk about growth, getting better, um, and, you know, hopefully this is the first time that you'll be on a platform. Uh, but can you let us know how you're a progressive person? How I'm, how I'm a progressive person? Yes. Because, um... I'm competitive. I'm competitive. So even if I'm not competing with you, I'm competing with myself. Mm. So I ain't gonna never stay the same. I'm not gonna ever do this, and I'm not gonna do this. I'm always, you feel me, go up like that because I'm competitive. For sure. I'm competitive. Okay. Now that's what's up. That's what's up. Is there anything else that you would want people to know about Chi Chi? Um. Nah. <laughs> he said nah. I got it all out. Respect. Thank <laughs> you.